Aussie Griffin, and this is a belated, heavily belated response to Varmut Cody's question. There'll be a link down in the description bar. What is the real you? Most people would make grandiose statements about feeling unencumbered and freedom of choice. I'm going to instead ask to play the devil's advocate here as I do so love doing. And I'm going to ask, what is the fake you? Imagine yourself, uh, or try and remember a time when you were doing something that made you nauseous, made you sick to be a part of it. Or try and remember a time when you felt uncomfortable with doing something or you hate going through the process, you love the result, or you appreciated the result, or you didn't know a better way to get the result. Were you being fake? Or were you fake? There is a difference. The answer is no. You were being genuine both times. Your reaction, the way you felt, was real. However, you had weighed up at some point the consequences, both socially and personally, of not doing the action and you feared them more than you valued being real or doing what you thought was a good idea and this this is entirely my point there is no such thing as a fake you there's only you doing something that you disagree with out of fear I'm not saying human beings shouldn't have fear. It's a very ra rational response. And there's a lot of inst instances where you should have a lot of fear. In fact, in a lot of cases, it's what kicks your limbic system into overdrive, which allows your adrenal gland to go nuts, which actually gives you the strength and tenacity to get out of certain situations. That's all based on the reptilian complex on the top of your brain stem, the part of your brain that's dedicated just to keeping your body alive. However, when you're afraid of things that might be or could happen, then you've really got to balance out whether it's a rational fear or whether you're just overreacting. That would be, I believe, what Varmint was communicating when he was talking about being fake. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin, and I seriously hope this has got some people thinking.